Well, hi everyone. I am here with another children's message with you and there's someone else here too. Might wanna say hi, I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's um, set himself up to be comfortable when we're at work. Wish I could have a bed at work, that'd be cool. Um, but he's, he's living his best life. So today we're gonna to talk about the hidden Christ. And it is from Matthew 25, verses 31 through 46. Now I open by saying peace with you. And I hope you're all doing well. I miss seeing you so much. Um, and talking to a computer is super weird. Um, but fingers crossed, we're getting really hopefully close to when we can be together soon. Um, it's gonna be a weird holiday, but I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna have a special Advent classroom with extra stuff you can do at home and special Advent readings and explaining the wreath and what Advent is. And um, hopefully we can still connect throughout the, the Advent season. So let's open in prayer. God, during these weeks, we gather to praise you and study your word. We want to be faithful followers of your word and of Jesus. Loving God, thank you for our group and our church. May your spirit show us the way. Amen. Okay, so we talked last week about doing something kind for someone or helping someone. So I wonder what you did. Um, I'm trying to think if I was super helpful this week, but um, I probably was, but I have a terrible memory and I hope that I was. Yeah, I hope that I was. Um, but the fact that I can't think of anything is kind of concerning. What do you think, Griffin? Does not care. Does not care at all. Um, what are you going to do? I, I, did you do anything nice for anyone this week? He got a week off, so he's, he's enjoying that life. All right. So Thinking of what we can do to help others, let's let's listen to this next story. And remember that we're telling these um, stories from the Gospel of Matthew. And we've been hearing all of these stories about Jesus teaching the farm workers, the bridesmaids, the servants, and the coins about paying taxes and about the greatest commandment. So we're going to do another parable today, stories Jesus told. And this one says, it's called when, Jesus. When's it going to happen? So Jesus continued to teach his disciples, telling them stories about the kingdom of heaven. And here's his story. When the king sat on his royal throne, he had all the people brought to him. He separated the people just like a shepherd separates sheep from the goats. Some people had to stand on his right and others on his left. And the king said to the people on his right, you, you will go and you will receive good things from God. You will get all the good things promised to you. I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me water to drink. I was new in your town and you welcomed me. My clothes were warm enough and you gave me clothes. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. And the people on the king's right said, we think you're wrong. We didn't give you food or water to drink. We never welcomed you and we didn't give you warm clothes and we didn't take care of you when you were sick and we did not visit you when you were in prison. Oh, but you did, said the king. When you did any of these things for anyone, no matter who, you did it for me. And the king said to the people on his left, you will not receive good things because you did not give me food or a drink of water. You did not welcome me or make sure that I had warm clothes and you did not take care of me with that when I was sick and you did not visit me in prison. And the people on the left looked confused. Our king, when did we see you hungry and thirsty? When did we not welcome you or give you warm clothes? We would have come if we'd known you were sick or in prison. Anytime you do not do any of these things for the people you've heard about or passed on the street, you did not do it to me. You will get no good reward. But the people over here who did the good things will get the good reward. So that's probably one of my favorites. So the people on the right did not do anything for the king. So why did he say that they did? Because he said that if you do this for anybody, you're doing it for me. Just like when we go out and we're kind and we do good things for other people, 
and we take care of one another, we are also doing that for God. We're doing it for that person, but we're also doing it for the king. And that's what this story is telling us. And like on the people on the left, they don't take care of others. They don't worry about anybody but themselves. Um, they don't notice things and they have to be told to do them or asked to do them. And that's not what taking care of the people around us is about. It's about understanding needs and filling those without having to be asked or told. So let's talk about, let's see here. So my little challenge for you this week is, and if you're an adult, you can do this too. Um, I know I gave you little cards to color in your little bags that I gave you at the start of Sunday school, and hopefully you've already colored those and sent those out. If you haven't, or if you can find a piece of paper to make a card, um, you can use anything there. So I want you to make a card for someone at church, maybe someone who is in our, our um, health care or are in retirement homes where they cannot receive visitors and they cannot leave just because of the COVID situation, or just look around Zoom and um, see if there's anyone there that you just miss because nobody's really getting out right now. Send them a card. Let them know that you're thinking of them. That's something that we can do that they're not asking for. It's a way that we can show kindness because we've noticed them. So let's try to do that this week. I'm gonna do it too. I think I'm gonna send five cards. I'm gonna make my challenge a little bit bigger. So um, that is your challenge for this week. And let us close in prayer. Griffin, are you ready? He's ready. We're going to pray now. Okay. God, when we hear about people who are hungry and thirsty, we will serve Jesus. When we hear about newcomers in our town or church, we will serve Jesus. When we hear about people who need clothing, we will serve Jesus. And when we hear about people who are sick, we will serve Jesus. Amen. And know that God loves you and to show love of God to others this week. And I will see you soon.